Well guys, I know it's been a long time coming. I haven't had a new RC unboxing in quite a long time that's from a name brand. I believe the last RC that I reviewed that was new was the 118th High Boxing. I'll leave a card on the top if you want to check that out. Pretty fun little vehicle. Great entry level RC. But today, today we're dealing with the big boys. I've been scrimping and saving and doing extra work on the side just to get one of these bad boys and I finally have it. Today I'm going to unbox the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 TRX6 Scale and Trail Crawler from Traxxas. Woo! That's a big breath full. Beautiful truck. Seen a lot of videos on it. Wonder one. I have a trailer that I want to haul around so this should definitely get the job done. The outside has a lot of description as what what comes with this vehicle. There's quite a bit of videos that have that information. I'm just going to pan over it. If you want to stop the video at any point, you surely can. If not, we are going to move on to the next step, which is opening this bad boy. And usually I try to keep things scale for you guys, but this truck just doesn't fit in my garage. So, yeah, you're going to see where the garage ends on this one, that's for sure. But let's open up this plastic and let's take this bad boy out. So I had actually never seen one of these in person, only seen videos, um, I basically have only seen them from far away, pictures and videos, never in person at the hobby store, they never had one on display, and they also just never, I've never seen one running, so it just adds to the mystery for me. Alright, so the first thing we get when we open this bad boy, TQI controller, has the switch here for your locking differential, really, really cool. There she is. All nice and wrapped up. We're going to take this pin off here. We're going to take this pin off. I'll take this plastic off. So I went with, you know, and I, I, I went with a long time deciding what color I wanted to get. And I finally ended up on the gray. And it's so weird because I'd never go with gray things. I was going to get the white. And then I ended up looking at this one. I was like, wow, this one really catches my eye. Traxxas has it all nice and wrapped up for you. Already damaged the body on that one. Wow. His first impressions is just absolutely wow. Like I said, I've never seen one of these in person. Uh, I think Traxxas did a great job with the with the with the body on this. It looks really great. So some of the features that you get on this is working LED lights here, your side markers, headlights, daytime running lights, brake lights. You get the 2.2 beadlock style Mercedes wheels from Traxxas with a stock. Which looks like the Canyon Trail tire, honestly, from the Sport. Maybe a little bigger tire, I'm not entirely sure. You get some scale accessories like the road cage. You get the mirrors, side trim, door handles. And you also get these down here. You get uh, scale uh, looking exhaust ports that connect to the road. So well, let's go ahead and remove the body and see what comes under. So as you might expect, it's pretty stock Traxxas overall. Really the biggest difference here that you're going to get from a TRX-6 from the TRX-4 is because of the light kit, you get the light controller. These lights only work with this controller, so just keep that in mind. You're going to get a stock Traxxas servo. You're going to get the stock 550 21 turn motor and XL5 brush ESC. These are crap, but I'm going to run it until they burn. Once they do, I'll replace it with a Hobbywing Axe 550 system. Just the features on this are immaculate though. I love the, the scale wheel wells. I love um, just how it's all styled. It looks really good. The wheels look really great with this truck as well. Love the length. It's definitely going to be an eye catcher, a head turner for sure. As far as I know, this weighs in at about nine pounds. And I'm not sure if that's with or without the battery, but um, another of the features that you get on this that you don't get on the Axial 6x6 are portal axles. And this portal, you get three all the way through you get the nice shocks from Traxxas. Traxxas actually makes some really really great shocks. When I got the TRX4 the stock shocks that came on it were absolutely amazing. Loved it. Um, really did almost no tweaking to it. Down here looks like you get um, this little I guess it's like a fuel cell cover or just an extra bumper for the bottom. Skid plate maybe. And you also get it for the front as well. So I'm going to remove the plastic from that and let's take a look at it. So the front one, really nice. It's just, it adds to that Mercedes style because that's something that you would get. And that is, um, that is plastic. It looks like aluminum, but it's plastic. 
The same with the others as the side runners, the exhaust, it's all plastic. Thinking about adding brass to it, since the body's a little top heavy, we'll balance out the weight maybe with brass on the bottom. But I have some ideas already in the works for this, which is really, really cool. Like I said, the suspension is really plush. You're going to get some nice articulation from the rear wheels. You're going to get that nice action whenever you're crawling, so that's going to look really sweet. One thing that I do like that I notice on this compared to some of the other Traxxas models is this has an integrated bumper into the body, and you see a lot of the times the RCs have another bumper in front of the bumper. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This one, they, they actually kind of thought that it through, and they gave you an internal bumper, and the body slides right over it. So you do have that protection while also keeping the scale look. So, but um, enough, enough about the outside. Let's go ahead and plug it up, and let's just see how it looks like with the lights on. All right, so everything is plugged up. Let me just test this out real quick. All right. And uh, one thing that I did leave out, and I'm sorry, I said stock Traxxas servo. Normally you get the blue waterproof um, 2075, and this is the 2075X. So it has a little bit more torque than the stock Traxxas. Not 100% sure if, if these are waterproof. So if somebody wants to clarify that in the comments, feel free. But she's moving on her own power. It's like all the diff servos are working. Turning is working forward and backwards. Awesome. Let's get the lights plugged in. Cool thing about this is, um, before I plug in the lights, one thing I want to mention is that they already organized everything for you, so all the LEDs mm -hmm. are run nice and neat. You only have one wire to disconnect. Mm -hmm. And there she is. These lights are actually really, really bright. Wow. Absolutely. They look way better in person. I like the color of them, actually, too. And you get the yellow side markers. Oh, just really do like it a lot. Working tail lights as well, really sweet. I like the way this looks under this actually. I don't know if it's gonna get caught up on the rocks. I don't anticipate it to, but it just it looks really really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you get a manual with any Traxxas product. You get a manual, so that's why I didn't even mention it. But that's really the first look at this vehicle. Um, first impressions, like I said, absolutely blown away, amazing. Love the scale look. Love everything that you get with it. Yes, it's a bit pricey, but you're honestly getting a lot for your money on this one, I feel. Because you're getting the 6x6, you're getting the light kit, you're getting a scale body. You get a lot of extra that you normally wouldn't get from a Traxxas product. So, overall, I'm thrilled. I'm happy. Can't wait to actually try this out outside in the trails and get it dirty. Have some big plans for it already. Um, if you guys know, I don't really keep anything stock around here. So, I'll tell you I have a servo coming. We're going to do a 25 kg servo on this, waterproof. Uh, I got some 3D printed accessories already made that I made myself. We're going to put a snorkel on this thing. Um, we're going to put a tail hitch on it so we can drag our trailer around because I have a trailer for my other cars. I'm going to do a 3D printed bed because uh, that's probably the one drawback to this body that takes away from the scale is this bed. really sucks that they just did a flat, really flat piece here. So. I'm going to get rid of this, 3D print an actual 3D bed. We're going to put some scale accessories in there. It's going to look fantastic. Finally, I'm going to do some rock lights for the wheel wells. So everything's going to get lit up on the bottom as well. Can't wait for that. And I am thinking about doing wheels and tires, but it kind of gets expensive buying this truck and doing all these other accessories and stuff. So I might wait on that. Um, from what I hear, these are actually good tires that come with it very sticky compound which they do feel sticky they don't feel very um very slick and kind of like the stock wheels you know they're usually always very slick very cheap feeling these actually have a pretty good feel quality to them but anyways guys thanks so much for watching please stay tuned we're gonna have more videos coming out on this testing final impressions stuff like that and also the upgrade series for this truck so Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and hit notifications. Make sure you stay tuned with all the videos coming up. Thanks for watching Flash Hobbies. We'll see you on the next one.